Oh, come on. Not again. S sorry, Professor. I, I, I forgot to put it on vibrate. You click a button to stop the ringing and set it to vibrate. Seconds later, it starts vibrating. <sighs> of all the... I, I, I'm sorry, Professor. I, I'll just be a minute. Baby, I'm kind of in the middle of class right now, so I really hope this is important. <sighs> yes, I'll still be coming home on time today, so you'll definitely have enough time to focus on your work before you have to make dinner tonight. Oh, babe, I've told you before, your work is fine. It's really good, in fact. A lot of people like what you put out, you know that. Yes, I'm sure of it. How else would you have been able to afford enough to pay your half of the rent all this time? Hell, you've even been able to cover my half of the rent on more than one occasion. Babe, we've gone over this before. People wouldn't waste their money on something they didn't like. Again, yes, I'm sure. But baby, you know I always love talking to you, but... I really have to get back to class. Babe, you know this isn't about you. I just really need to... Babe. Baby, I... Baby, enough. God, I'm so tired of going back and forth with you like this. What do I mean? No, no matter what I try and say to cheer you up, you always turn things negative. And no matter how much time we spend together, you actually still feel the need to call me almost over a dozen times every day. I mean, for God's sake, this is the third time this week you've called me in the middle of class. Do you know how angry my professors get at me for that? Oh, God. I, oh, and now you're going to start crying, right? And then you'll go on and on about how you think it'd be better if you just disappeared or something, right? Well, you know what? Maybe you're right. If you did disappear, maybe I'd actually have a moment of peace for once. Look, I'm, I'm going back to class. For once, do me a favor and don't call me until I get home. The class ends. We walk out of the classroom with the other students. Oh, I'm finally done. I swear, sometimes these classes just feel like they go on forever. And now that some time has passed, I'm, I'm starting to think I may have been too hard on them. I mean, it's not like they mean to interrupt my classes. All they ever want is to just have someone to talk to throughout the day. And they always make sure to ask how I'm doing before the call ends. At least when I don't cut them off like I did. Also, what I said was just way too mean. Telling someone to disappear, that's just wrong. Especially when it's said to the person you've been dating for several months. And we've been roommates for even longer too. Gotta call them back. Hopefully they'll forgive me. Your phone rings, but they don't answer. No answer. Maybe they went out, or they're probably just ignoring me. I wouldn't blame them if they were. Well, maybe I can stop somewhere and buy them their favourite ice cream on the way home. I can even buy them that new game they've been asking for. They did say it's one that we can play together. Still though, I'll have to properly apologise when I see them. And maybe then we can talk things out. I don't think it's a good idea for us to ignore this anymore. I just... I just hope they'll hear me out. You walk up to the front door and unlock it. You open it, walk in, and close the door. Babe! 
I'm back. I um, I bought you some stuff on the way home that I think you'll like. Babe, are you home? Did they really go out? No, their shoes are still by the door. Maybe they're in our room. You walk through the hall and knock on the bedroom door. Baby, are you in there? Look, I... I wanted to apologize about earlier when I... You open the door as you're talking. When you do, you let out a horrified gasp as you drop what you're holding. <gasps> oh, oh my god, baby! You rush over to them as they lay on the floor. Baby! Baby, baby, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Come, wake up. Please, wake up. What What happened? What, what did he do? The, the, the pill bottle, it's, it's in their hand. But, 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 but why is it nearly empty? No, 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 baby, please tell me you didn't. I, I, I didn't mean it. I didn't mean what I said earlier. I didn't want this to happen. I, fuck, no, 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 no. The hospital, I've got to call the hospital. Yeah, hello, hello, please, you've got to help me, it's my roommate, I mean, the person I'm dating, look, I I just need help, I I think they took a bunch of pills and now they're unconscious on the floor and I can't even tell if they're breathing anymore, please, 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 just tell me what I should do, tell me what I need to do, okay, 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 I'll try and calm down, so, 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 what do I do? Right, right. right. Our, our, our address. We live on uh, Bell Street, apartment complex, room 315. They're on the way now. Thank you. Thank you. But please tell them to hurry. You're in a hospital. Come on, come on, please be done soon. Uh, Oh, um, hi. Uh, Doctor, yes, I'm their boyfriend. Is everything okay? Uh, Are they going to be all right? They're still unconscious. Why? Why haven't they woken up yet? The result of an overdose. So they really did try to. Yes, yes, the, the pills they took, they, they, they were their antidepressants. I, I thought things were bad, but I never thought they'd actually try to. Fuck. No, 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 no. I, I'll be fine. Thank you. <clears throat> but c- could I uh, at least go see them now? I understand. I'll. I'll make sure to be quiet. You are led to their room and see them lying on a hospital bed. Oh, God. Um, thank you for, for, for leading the way, but I think I'll just sit with them for now, if that, that's okay. Thanks. Thanks, Doc. The doctor walks away while you sit beside their bed. Baby? I... I doubt you'll hear me. But... I'm... so sorry. Fuck. I snapped and said things I shouldn't have. And... I was so stressed and frustrated, but... I shouldn't have taken it out on you. I should have called back. I should have called back sooner. Hell, I should have just come straight home after I yelled like that. I knew you were taking antidepressants and you even told me about your depression, but I didn't take it seriously enough. I never thought that this could happen. I didn't even think it was a possibility. I should have. I should have done more to try and help with this. Shouldn't have just ignored it like that. I I at least should have known not to yell when all you want to do is talk to me. 
when you wake up, I'll gladly apologize over and over again. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm so fucking sorry. I'll even get on my knees and beg if there's a chance that you'll forgive me. I don't want to lose you. So please, please just wake up. They start showing signs of waking up. Babe, hey, 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 can you hear me? Are you awake? Please, if you are, just, just open your eyes. They fully wake up. Hey, hi, baby. I'm so glad you're awake. D don't worry, you're okay. We're just in the hospital. You were brought here after... After you tried to... What? Why are you apologizing? No, 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 no. You have nothing to apologize for. Especially not for thinking I'm actually mad about you being safe and sound right now. Baby, I am so sorry. So, so sorry. I was wrong. I never should have said those things to you. The things I did say, I didn't mean it. I didn't mean when I told you to disappear. <laughs> Especially not like this. Can't, can't, can't imagine my life without you. Talking to you, eating with you, waking up with you, doing anything with you makes me happy. So happy. And yeah, I forgot that. I got so mad and frustrated about such stupid shit and then I took it all out on you. Because of me, you actually tried to take your own life. How can you say it's not my fault? I yelled at you, I yelled and I told you to disappear. I hurt you and I can't take it back. Baby, baby. I understand if you want to dump me for this. I'd be heartbroken, but I can understand if you never forgive me this. And if you want me to move out too, I'd be more than willing to. What? You don't want to break up? Oh God. You want me to stay? Oh God, how can you forgive me so easily? You should be making this hard for me. You should be yelling at me or even hating me. So why? You, you still love me. Oh God, I don't deserve it. I don't deserve you, but thank you. Thank you so much, baby. I swear. Do my best to never let this happen again. But to do that, babe, I know we've talked about you getting some more professional help. And I know you said you didn't think you wanted it, but I think we should reconsider. I, I know, I know, I know it'll be an adjustment. But I think it's worth a shot, especially because I'm scared, babe. I'm scared that something will happen to trigger this again. Maybe me snapping again. Or maybe something else entirely. But either way, I'm mostly just scared that, 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 that I'll be too late next time. I don't want to lose you. I don't want to lose the person I love. So please, just promise to consider it. Okay? Okay, for me? Thank you, baby. I, I really appreciate it. Oh, I just realized we've been talking for a while, huh? Oh, we should probably get the nurse and let them know you were awake. You were kind of unconscious for a while. The sooner they come and check on you, the sooner we can get you home. And I promise, when we get home, I'll do everything I can to take care of you. I love you. Baby, I love you so much. I swear, I'll stay by your side and I'll never let you go.